first graders, we're back with our math lesson for today, and today we're going to talk about um, counting mixed coins, and we're only going to use pennies, nickels, and dimes. So first I'm going to kind of talk about what does each of those look like and how much are they worth. So here I have pennies, and you, if you remember our little saying, penny, penny, easily spent, copper brown, and worth one cent. So when we count pennies, we are going to count those by ones. Alright, so you can see this is what the front of a penny looks like. And the back of a penny, this is an older penny right here. This crest on the back of them. Okay, so again, pennies, one cent. Okay, the next one, this is our nickel. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat, you're worth five cents, I know that. Okay, so we've got the front of our nickel and the back of our nickel, and here's a newer nickel. So it's still the same person, just looks a little different, okay? So we just read our thing, thick and fat, you're worth five cents, I know that. So anytime we see these nickels, we're going to... And our last coin is our dime. Uh, dime, dime, little and thin, I remember you're worth ten. Okay, so when we see dimes, we're counting by tens, because they are worth ten cents. So there's the front of our dime, and there's the back. Alrighty, guys, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to give you some coins, and we're going to count them. If they're a penny, we're going to start counting by ones. Nickels, we're going to count by fives. And if they're dimes, we're going to count by tens. So I'm going to wipe these off here. And we're going to get ready to go. Here is going to be our first one. Alrighty, let's start counting this. Okay, so we have here a dime, right? We have three dimes. So we're going to count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty. We're done with our dimes. Now we have a nickel. We need to start counting by fives. But we're going to start at thirty because that's where we were. 35, no more nickels, now I see pennies, we need to count by ones, 36, 37, so we have here 37 cents, great job guys, let's try another one, I'm going to leave these dimes because I want to get a bigger amount. And I'm going to put two nickels this time, but only one penny. Okay, so let's count these. Now remember, we're going to count by tens for the dimes, we're going to count by fives for the nickels, and we're going to count by ones for the pennies. And we continue with our counting from where we left off in the previous coin. So here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. New coin, now we go to the five, 65, 70, new coin, count by one, 71, we have 71 cents here. Great job, guys. Okay, so I've got an activity for you guys. What you can do to practice this at home, parents and kids, is make yourself a little store. And I've made a little store here for me. I have pencils that are 18 cents, a very fancy clothespin that's 36, a dauber, that's an expensive item, it's 74 cents. I've got Darth Vader, he's 41 cents. My glue is 62 and my marker is 59 cents, another high priced item. Okay guys, all you have to do is give your kids some, some dimes, pennies and nickels. And they're going to use dimes, pennies, and nickels to pay for one item. They can only buy one item at a time. And they're going to pay for that item. So if I chose this 18 cent pencil, I'm going to get a dime because I need 10. And if I put two dimes, well, that's too much. I'm at 20. So I know I need a smaller coin. So I go 10, 15. I'm still not there. So I get my pennies 16, 17. 18. All right, guys, I hope that counting money is good. It takes a lot of practice, but I know you guys can get it. 
Play store with your brothers and sisters. Play store with your mom and dad. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.